Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the oath of office, followed by musical honors. Traditionally, this is what a U.S. presidential inauguration looks like, but it's a little different this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic and threats of violence from pro-Trump supporters. Gracious and merciful God, at this sacred time we come before you in need, indeed on our knees. The Office of President of the United States. Joe Biden was sworn in as the 46th President of the United States on Wednesday during a ceremony held at the heavily protected U.S. Capitol and in the tumultuous four-year presidency of his Republican predecessor, Donald Trump. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. In his speech, the new U.S. president says his inauguration is a celebration of democracy and that the will of the people has been heard. This is America's day. This is democracy's day. A day of history and hope, of renewal and resolve. Through a crucible for the ages, America has been tested anew and America has risen to the challenge. Today, we celebrate the triumph not of a candidate, but of a cause, the cause of democracy. The people, the will of the people has been heard, and the will of the people has been heeded. We've learned again that democracy is precious, democracy is fragile, and at this hour, my friends, democracy has prevailed. He also called for Don't peace, tolerance, and reconciliation, even as he vows to be a president to all Americans. Today, at this time, in this place, let's start afresh, all of us. Let's begin to listen to one another again, hear one another, see one another, show respect to one another. Every disagreement doesn't have to be a cause for total war. Then a moment of silence for all the American citizens that have lost their lives to the COVID-19 pandemic. And a promise that this too shall pass. This is our historic moment of crisis and challenge. And unity is the path forward. And we must meet this moment as the United States of America. If we do that, I guarantee you we will not fail. We have never, ever, ever, ever failed in America. Earlier, Vice President Kamala Harris was also sworn into office, becoming the first woman, the first black person, and the first Asian American to hold their office. So help me God. In attendance at the ceremony were three former presidents, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, and George W. Bush, who were all accompanied by their wives. Also, immediate U.S. Vice President Mike Pence witnessed the inauguration. All living former presidents gathered to witness the peaceful transfer of power, but former President Donald Trump made the decision not to take part in this tradition.